Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aries. Now this will be for October 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget, it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Okay, one more shuffle for Aries. <clears throat> okay, Aries. Month of October. They're all wanting to jump out already. Okay, so first card out is you've had a time of brilliant success. It can be a time of accomplishment. It's about endings and new beginnings with the world card. I feel like you should be proud of yourself. Something, something you've completed. You've completed this lesson or goal that you had to, you had to learn. A cycle. It's the end of a cycle and then you start again. So you've definitely completed something, learnt something, learnt what you had to. Yeah, it's all about fulfilment. One more card, please. Oh, I've got a whole heap. Okay. <clears throat> so as I said, the world card. That's you having completion. The card on the bottom. I feel like there was some sort of third party. There could have been gossip, that kind of thing. Now, somebody wasn't standing up for themselves and I feel like you need to stand up for yourself because this is the seven of wands in reverse. Somebody needed to. So it's probably made you feel very exhausted, you kind of burnt out, stuck. Um, it could leave you feeling you know, indecisive and you, you don't know what to do, but you're not standing up for yourself. You need to. But definitely some sort of third party. But you've got the star card underneath that and I feel like this is just telling you to have faith because things are going to get better for you so keep having faith wish upon a star you know like miracles can happen that kind of thing um there is a light at the end of the tunnel so your dreams will come true but it's just a matter of getting past the challenging times okay so as i said you've got the world card here with the end end of new beginnings You've also got the King of Cups. Now, as I said, with a third party, there was probably somebody who was the opposite of trustworthy and honourable. Somebody who could have been emotionally manipulative. Somebody who was probably crafty, moody. They could have been violent to you. Um, they weren't real devoted. It wasn't somebody that you can trust. And I feel like even they could have even had, you know, hidden emotions i don't feel like they had your best interest in mind um yeah i might just clarify and then we'll continue with the other cards okay tell me about the world card please about the world card please aries Oh my goodness, just give me one second. You had half the deck. Okay. <clears throat> As I said, endings and new beginnings. You're probably needing to just spend some time by yourself for a while. Could feel like you were very, you know, you're feeling very lonely. But as I said, there was a situation that where you didn't, <clears throat> maybe you did trust your intuition i feel like you didn't somebody didn't speak their truth like i get this frog in my throat which is annoying as anything and i feel like i just need to <clears throat> and normally clear my throat that generally means someone's not speaking theirs so whoever this is um please you know speak your truth if you need to um so anyway back to what i was saying you probably either need to spend time by yourself to do some introspection that kind of thing or withdraw maybe you're feeling lonely 
because of what's gone on with the third party over here. Um, but as I said to you, you probably did trust your intuition and maybe that's why it ended because you did trust your intuition. You felt like you had a gut feeling something was going on and, and you were right. So now you can work on manifesting what you want. And as I said, you know, here we are doing some spending time by yourself, maybe in nature, maybe do some contemplation, meditation, um, you know, rest, um, relax, you know, all those kind of things. So then you've got the King of Cups, like I said. It's the opposite of trustworthy and, you know, devotable and honourable. It's somebody you just can't trust. Okay, tell me about the King of Cups in reverse, please. <clears throat> yeah, they left you an emotional loss. Like, this person hurt you. This person, I mean, you're probably at the moment, you know, dwelling on the negative. You're feeling depressed, disappointed. Yeah, look. And here they were. This was like a very hostile, you know, toxic situation. But because it's it's like now this person wants to come back. This person that's, you know, the opposite of trustworthy and honourable and loyal and, you know, all those good things, they wouldn't come back. Even though this is after they've hurt you. They still feel like they want to reconcile. They want to make amends. You know, they've realized what they had and they lost it. And, you know, if this person isn't doing the right thing, is that where you want to go? This is the exact same card as this card, the star card. Like this is telling you to have faith because things are going to get a whole heap better for you. And I don't feel like, yeah, it's not with that person. This is you detaching from somebody who's like the devil. Somebody who wasn't trustworthy, someone who's not loyal, someone who has addictions, obsessions. This is you letting that go. So I'm telling you, this, the star card has come up twice. Like, have faith. Miracles are going to happen for you. Things are going to get better. Keep having faith. Just not with this person. Okay. You have the charity in the moon. I mean, the charity in the moon. <clears throat> you've got a few major arcana. You've got the devil card, you have the world card, you've got these two, you've got the death card over here as well, you've got the star card twice, like you've got big changes happening in your life. Um, the, the moon card, first of all, is all about someone who's deceptive and, you know, has secrets and, you know, is doing the wrong thing. And I feel like with the, with the moon card, it's also about you not knowing everything you don't know all the facts and there's so much uncertainty but you've got to trust your intuition and i feel like you are you know but i just feel like you need to listen listen and pay attention to your intuition because let go of your fears as well but know that this person is you know, doing you wrong, you know this person is doing you wrong, you know it's a hostile, toxic situation full of who knows what, you know for different people it's going to be different, but whatever this situation is, this person is not trustworthy and they're not loyal and they're not honourable. So knowing that, knowing they have secrets, knowing they're deceptive, you know, you'd be crazy to go back there. But here we go with the chariot. I mean, you just feel like, you there's opposition you also feel like you have lack of direction um you know it's you could put in all i feel like i'm hearing you could put in all the hard work but i feel like it's not going to get you anywhere like i'm amazed that the 10 of wands hasn't come up anywhere yet because that would be like this situation is a burden and i feel like it is i feel like this whole situation is a burden I feel like you're one that you're going to put in all the hard work because you want it to be successful, but this other person is not doing the same. That's what I'm feeling and that's what I'm hearing. And there you are, letting go of needing to let go, needing to end this situation. This is actually the same card that you, I have, we haven't got to yet, but this is the exact same card. Here you are needing to let something go but at the same time with the death card in reverse you're resisting it you do need to do some work on you and get rid of whatever is not serving you in your life but here you are actually letting it go here you are releasing it
Okay, so I want to find out more about the chariot and the moon. Okay, so there's the same card as you had before with a seven. Like, stand your ground. You need to stand your ground. You have this card at the beginning over here. Here you are needing to and it left you feeling exhausted. Once again, here you are doing it. So you are going to eventually do it. It's like you are going to eventually release it. And here you are walking away. You're letting it go. you got another three in reverse. Like this is somebody who is obsessed with details. So you could be like, I can't get past the fact that you cheated on me. You know, I can't get past the fact that you did this. Like, you know, how could you cheat on me? How could you lie to me? How could you, you know, and it's like constant, like you're obsessed with why did they do this to me? You can't seem to get past it. But here you are once again, leaving the past in the past. You, you know, you want a happy home. You know, you want a relaxing home. You want harmony. You want all of the things that, you know, a happy home with a firm foundation has. And once, you know, this is like the best card in the deck with the sun card. This is you having success and material happiness and, you know, a joyous outcome. Like this is, this is you getting you know, having, having a happy life, once again, because you're moving on and leaving the past behind. Needing to speak your truth. Somebody needs to speak their truth, like I said. Definitely having had some sort of breakup. You've got a, quite a lot of threes. Three is also a third party. This person, like, nurture yourself because this person was never going to give you your wishes fulfilled. Here you are releasing something that caused you anxiety, stress, depression, nightmares, no sleep, you know, all of the worry, all of those things. This is you letting go, releasing something that, as I said, didn't make you feel good. There might be some information that you're going to get that is going to be challenging to hear. This is somebody coming in to communicate to you. And whether they're coming in to communicate to you about someone else, like about this person, like if someone cheated, maybe, you know, their friend knows or maybe the person that they cheated with found out, oh, oh yeah, look, you know, Bob has a girlfriend. So I better, you know, like I want to reach out and tell her what kind of person Bob is. It's going to be hard to hear whatever it is. Maybe they tell you. Maybe Bob tells you in this example. But I feel like <clears throat> either you move out and get a new home, you have a new start. Could be you get a new love. Maybe someone new reaches out to tell you they like you. Tell me about the death card and the nine of swords. Another three. Yeah, just maybe go and spend time with friends. As I said, this has left you feeling exhausted, burnt out, tired, you know. And it could be because you're having lack of sleep, like you're feeling absolutely, you know, crap. But I'm telling you, just go and spend some time with friends and just, you know, enjoy having 
the support from your friends. Reach out if you need, but you know, as I said, you're feeling left like exhausted. I feel like this was a spiritual lesson for you though. Okay, can you tell me about the Page of Swords and the Ace of Cups, please? Yeah, you're going to find out somebody's giving to other people. And then it's up to you what you choose to do, but you are going to detach. That's your choice to maybe detach. And I feel like, as I said, you are going to release. Oopsie, not that one. These cards, they all tell me that you're going to release it. Because here you are walking away. And you're putting a death to this situation so you can have a happy home. You're leaving the past behind. So you are going to do that. But here you are trying to make the choice. Do I want to detach? From the devil person who probably had other options. And then you're going to make a positive movement forward because you're learning. Now, I want to ask about the Ace of Cups. Can you tell me about the Ace of Cups? You have lack of hope that you're actually going to get something, but you are. You're going to get your person who's going to bring you your wishes fulfilled. And there's the love offer. This person's going to come in and, and offer you, you know, I like you. Wishes fulfilled and your person. Don't lose faith because you are currently. You need to heal your heart and work on manifesting what it is you want. Let's get some oracle for you. Feel like you're going to be attracted to this person and this person could be your person and as i said that's normally your twin flame card it's going to be worth waiting for you don't feel like it is safe for you to love and you're also not wanting to release your ex because you feel like this person is your soulmate there's someone you've got to learn from, yes, but it is safe for you to love and it is going to be worth waiting for. And as I said, this person is going to want to reconcile, but just remember, you want to have your person. You want this person that's going to give you your wishes fulfilled. And as I said two minutes ago, the other person, they're not offering that. Actually, I don't want to do those ones today. I'll do these ones. Look, you are going to have a new life. You're not wanting to let this go, though. Time to go in reverse. You're not wanting to let this go. You think it's you, you've got to put in all this hard work, like I said, but you don't. Because you're going to have a new life. It's going to be, look, full of celebration and, and good times. As I said, it's going to be full of your wishes for food. It's going to be full of good things. And this is going to be your person. But you've got to release the X first. Okay, you can have a card for Aries, please. Thank you. Okay, Citrine. That one comes out quite a bit, actually. Wealth, creativity, abundance, and healing. It's all about abundance. And abundance, it doesn't have to be monetary. 
Abundance can mean love. Abundance can mean anything you want that you're going to get. You know, it can be creativity. It can be healing. Let go of any fear and guilt. You know, be thankful for the abundance you're about to receive. And manifest what it is you want. And funny enough, you've got clear quartz underneath. You're worried that you're not going to get everything you want in life. Life is full of infinite possibilities. You just need to believe that and, and work on manifesting that. You can't manifest something if you're not willing to, um, like if you don't believe it. You can, you can try and manifest something as much as you want, but unless you're actually willing to, you know, feel it, believe it, you know, put it out there to the universe, you're not going to get anything because you're too busy thinking negative. Okay, can I have a couple of cards, please? Know your worth. Know what you deserve. Um, learn from the past. I feel like you're not. You're not learning from the past yet. And something has left you heartbroken. Okay. You need to do some inner work. Release all the baggage. Stop letting go of the past stuff. Let it go. Um, I feel like this person like broke your heart, but you haven't moved on from that yet. But you're also not wanting to get back together with this person. They stabbed you in the back. They hurt you, and you're not over that yet. You haven't released it, which is what I'm talking about. Release your baggage because this person hurts you. You can't keep bringing that into new relationships. And focus on your self-worth because at the moment, as I said, you're not. So... That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next read. Thanks for watching. Bye.